Most people in America are quite familiar with the women's lube mu movement and the lesbian dumb that people are forced to face all around the community of women who are pushing their realities. I don't have a problem with either. But what I do have a problem with is those people thinking they have the rights to tell me how to live. I don't want you to think that I'm picking on the group, but what I've seen recently in political movements is an abuse of men. And the abuse of men by women really pisses me off. Because in truth, our souls are different than yours. And in truth, our work environments are different than yours. And in truth, the expectations on men are different than the expectations on women, which is an issue that you talk about, and it is truthful, but the reality of life is many of you go off and partner and get married, and therefore your need to provide for completely alone by yourself, your family, is totally different then. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about what is currently going on in America with regard to things that impact our life. And what impacts my life right at the moment is a bunch of strange women who work for companies and their abuse of my life. I'm not kidding you. I'm simply trying to be a civil neighborly person going into stores to go shopping and doing my life outside which is where I'm forced to be living because some women abused my rights, ruined my property, and allowed men to destroy my life. Now, someone will say, you're blaming us. No, I'm asking you to be accountable for the decisions you made that created a whole bunch of litigation abuse on my life. Because those of you who made your court documents, those of you who made your rights in a way that were, was immoral and not handling things correctly in the house of God will literally go to hell. You don't think so because you think you're righteous, and that is not true. But you're so immature in your faith and you're so fearful of the Holy Ghost that you refuse to ask God whether it's true.